Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm Arzina. Hi, I'm Markel. And today we're on a little adventure. We took off from Koh Samui and we were going to try to get some footage before we left, but our van was a little bit late picking us up. <laughs> but we got there just as the boat was leaving. Yeah, so we made it. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. So we are actually on the island of Koh Nang Yon, I believe sure? is how you pronounce it. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, that's what it says, right? <laughs> okay. So it was about a little over one hour speedboat to here. Pretty loud speedboat because we were in the back right by the engines. But um, we're going to show you around this little private island. And then after th here, we're going to head over to Koh Tao for lunch and more snorkeling. But right now, we're just going to flip the camera around and show you around this area of the beach or this small island. See you soon. Okay, Bye. so this island is famous for this narrow little passage that when it's high tide, you can't cross here and I believe this side may stay a little more exposed but here you see a little bit of the the bay on both sides but basically yeah like I said right here on this side during high tide you can't cross here unless you're a pretty good swimmer one thing that's interesting to note is we watch videos from here when people were coming out during COVID. Tell a little bit about that, Arzina. It was actually very quiet. None of this was happening. No. Uh, this whole area was private almost, and none of the restaurants or the bars were open. So Nothing was open. So it's actually very nice to see that everything is open and happening at this point. There's some construction also happening. That means people are building up. Yeah, it's even the, to see that. these little huts back here, they were all like completely shut down two years ago. This island was basically completely deserted. So good for the people of Thailand and good for tourism that things are bouncing back. I agree. Okay, we're just walking along the little mini sandbar, I guess you would call this, that connects these two parts of this island. Like I mentioned earlier, during high tide, this gets completely covered. So it's a good thing that we're here during low tide. What do you think about the snorkeling that we just did, Arzina? It's amazing. We, uh, we saw so many beautiful fish and water was just amazing. Uh, temperature was great. The fish were beautiful. There were little tiny blue ones and then there was this big one. Did you see that, that huge one? one? That was probably one of the biggest fish I've ever seen like gray, while snorkeling. yellow. Some yeah. blue, some, it was real yellow, uh, black, it was really cute. Yeah, at first when we started out, I was like, oh, I've seen one fish. And then we went a little further out, the, the fish definitely became very numerous. And if you see the water, it's very clear water. The sand is really soft, it's very, very clear. So pretty. Yeah. So, again, pretty good snorkeling. I. I would say it was as good or better than the one that we went to when we were in Phuket. I agree. D a different variety of fish for sure though. That's yeah. what's interesting is anywhere that you go, you will get some different fish. But as you can see, this is kind of the end of this part of Koh Nanyong, I believe it's pronounced. And you see a lot of people down here taking pictures. This is like a famous Instagram area. And at some point, I guess these huts were either for rent or maybe people even lived there full time. I don't know. You see a little walkway over there. Okay, we're heading over to the other side of Koh Nang Yon. And I don't know if you, I'll try to zoom in. The zoom isn't working. All the way there, there's a... Way up there is a viewpoint for some reason the the zoom isn't working right now i think my fingers are too wet from all the snorkeling we chose not to go up there because we thought we'll spend more time snorkeling rather than go up there yeah because on yeah. this stop they said we had about an hour and 20 minutes yeah. and they said it's easily an hour if you're lucky to get all the way up to the viewpoint and back down yeah. and then if you want the pictures you have to stand in line so we like snorkeling more than hiking. Yeah. <laughs> I think we like to float. Yeah. More than go up all the way. But as you can see, here's a lot. So this is actually a very popular scuba diving destination too. You see some of the boats that are more geared for scuba diving. 
but it's just it's really neat so over here is Kotal you see mm -hmm. that's where all the, the the dock where all the boats come in and then you go along this little pathway here all the way around then all the way up to that viewpoint I think I would have actually have to be staying in one of these little huts or cabins to warrant taking the time to walk all the way up to that viewpoint but I'm sure this is just spectacular to stay and wake up to have the, the ocean literally steps in front of you so we have to head back over the boat is getting ready to take us over to Kotal so we can get some lunch are you hungry Arzina? Starving. Starving. Oh. No. oh, let's go get back on the boat and go get some lunch. See you in a little bit. Right, so now we're over on Kotal. We just, this is our little boat. It's not too little, but it's Golden pretty speedy. Golden Moon Travel. Golden Moon Travel. We took off from Bang Rack Beach area, which is where we stayed last year when we were in Koh Samui. And then they brought us, this is, so way over there. Not too far, but it's literally five minutes. That little island there was Ko Nyan. Yeah, that's <laughs> something it. like that. Yeah. And then we got on the boat, came over here for lunch. They brought us here to this little beach area. The food was the food was average. average. It was okay. Yeah, but it was. It's know, included. You get. Yeah. They had two different. They had green curry, and then they had a vegetable curry. Uh, Pineapple, watermelon, really nice water. Area right yeah, it was there. actually kind of cool. And now I think it's time to head back. Yeah, back everybody's to the boat. heading out, so we're going back on the boat and heading to a different spot in Kotal for some snorkeling. How and are I you doing, arrived. Markel? Hello, everyone. I'm back. Just enjoying <laughs> myself here in Kotal Island. And you had some cocoa I nut had some ice cream. Coconut ice cream. Yes, I did. I like, can have it. Like the fifth time I've had it so it's, it's so good. Yeah. All right so we're gonna hop back on the boat and see where they take us for snorkeling. So as you can see David is right here. Wave over here David. <laughs> and Markel is right here. Hi. Hi. So they're really going. Deep here. I'm surprised. Yeah snorkeling. I just chose not to do it because coming back up the step the steps on the boat is just a little too high for me. It's quite scary, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's kind of wavy too, so I don't know. But it looks beautiful. The ocean water looks really, really nice. A lot of current in here. Look at Markel go. Good job, Markel. There goes David over there. And this is the area of Kotao that's actually that's not a beach. It's just a, a snorkeling area. There are some like little like villas right on like the cliff. And this is it's beautiful, it's just really um, rocky and wavy and but apparently it's a good good spot to snorkel so showing you a little bit of the rocky area Markel and David snorkeling away and we'll catch you at the next stop I think it's basically going home as you can see David is still in the ocean he's gonna most likely come in at the last moment because he's loving it. I went in and snorkeled a little bit and it was a lot of fun. These jagged edges of those stones are pretty incredible. Very, very pretty. All right, we're back on the boat. Whew, a little bit tired. This is an area called Outlook Bay in Kotal. Um, so basically the water's quite deep here. They drop you off the back of the boat and I I have a GoPro. I left it back in Mauritius because I found I wasn't using it. This would have been the place for the GoPro. This was some fantastic snorkeling. Just crazy colorful fish. Really nice coral because it's so deep that it's 
yeah, it's, it's more untouched because it's people can't like walk out here. There, there's no beach here. There's literally rocks, and it drops probably 30 or 40 feet. It's like unlike I anything I've ever experienced. Like I showed you guys in the video prior when David was snorkeling, which he doesn't know I took the video yet. Well, I knew a little bit, but <laughs> There were rocks, yeah. a video of rocks everywhere, so I'm showing up you what yeah. it looks like in this area. All right, so they're going to be taking off soon, taking us back to Koh Samui, and we'll say our farewell there. See you in a little bit. Okay, so we've had a pretty good day uh, snorkeling around Koh Nanyon, I think it's pronounced, and Koh Tao. We're back on the island of Koh Samui, so we're going to wrap things up. Until next time, live more, laugh more, love more, travel, travel more. more.